Okay, Tariq, I don't know if anybody had your pencil then. The other quarterfinals tomorrow. Okay, you're an Ohio guy. I like you. Yeah. Right? But you're, you're surprising some people, right? Maybe the guy you had wasn't the guy everybody expected, but you're wrestling nails, man. This is the end of the year. This is when it counts. How you get how you get in wrestling at such a high level when it counts? Oh, on a high level, uh, just going in every day of practice, wrestling with uh, Kevin, Sean, uh, it's a couple of the coaches. Uh, we wrestle hard against each other every day. So it's just preparing me for this. Since the beginning of the season, the coach has always said, we're not, we're not preparing for ACCs or nothing like that, these other competitions. NCAAs is where we want to peak at, we want to shine, and that's what I'm doing. NC State, you know, you look at it, you could have stuck around in Ohio. You could have gone to the Big Ten. You go down to you know, Raleigh, Durham area, right? And, and you're from Steubenville, right? Big yeah. Red. Um, not, not a, a path a lot of people follow. How has it been to be in North Carolina, away from Ohio? You're in that championship environment there, right? Coach yeah. Papalizio has built that. Yeah. I mean, what's it like? What's the culture shock been like for you? Was there any culture shock? And how do you think you're thriving in that environment? Oh, there wasn't a culture shock. Uh, going in, I already knew with the coaches were about. They talked to us. They said we were on a specific mission, and if we try, if I were to trust in them, they put their trust in me, and that's what we're doing right this year. We just trust in the process, getting a lot of stuff done. Uh, coming here, we have a mission, and we want to achieve that mission. We all of us got to step up and do their part, and that's what we're doing. Coming into the tournament, you were unseated. That can be a daunting prospect to some. You're in the quarterfinals now. What was your mentality when you didn't get a seed? Oh, I really didn't care. Seed doesn't mean anything. Uh, if you want to, if you want to wrestle here and be the best and beat the best, you're just gonna have to go out there and wrestle. I take one match at a time. I don't worry about who I have ahead of me or anything like that. I just go out there and focus on that particular match and stay positive, stay composed, structured, and just do what my coaches talked about. And that's see, uh, continuing to uh, prove results and that's what I'm gonna continue to do. You're in a very tough room with lightweights. Uh, was it even a given that you were going to be the starter in the beginning of the season? Uh, no. Uh, I wrestled with Jamel, and me and him went back. He he beat me uh, three times. Russell off, and then two at two different uh, tournaments. But I continue to work. I didn't put, let that put me down. Continue to work hard and uh, show some results. And the coach decided that I would be the guy. So where does your head need to be at going forward? I just work. Focus on one match. That's all. Don't want to look too far ahead. Don't want to overlook an opponent. Just worry, worry about you in that moment. Trust in yourself mostly, and then just go out there, have fun, and wrestle. All right, thanks, Drew. Thank you. Got tomorrow? I don't know. Winner of? Uh, I don't. I don't even pay attention. I, I just love go out there. It. I, I love go out there it. and wrestle. That's a dangerous mentality, and yeah. I like it. It doesn't matter who, who's out there, who's in front of me, they're in my way. I gotta show them that I'm here. I'm here to wrestle. I'm here to go finish out with a medal. Mostly, try to be a NCAA champion. Good luck, Thank you.